Hey, 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 have you ever... Uh, have you ever heard about... Uh, fire Girl? Splash and... Splash. Or something like that. Um, it's Fire Girl. It's about... A girl um, fighting fire demons. In burning buildings in order to break through. In order to uh, rescue up to three people, a bunch of pets and different uh, places. And as you uh, rescue, you get upgrades. You get the money, and for the money you can upgrade. And once you upgrade, you get more, more stuff. It doesn't change the base game much, because the physics is my worst enemy. And if you play the game, they are gonna be your worst enemy. Because knockback. And timer. So yeah, for my own sanity's sake. Um, I say, it's not a bad experience, but um, because I've been playing it for god knows how many hours. It's just that um, there's a lot of... There's a lot of challenge by the fact that you have to balance the use of water. And also, because you're using the same source uh, of water as you use for. Um, as you use for navigating uh, the terrain. Because you use the water as a jetpack. And as a weapon, uh, and it does piss for damage, but it can be upgraded with money you get. Which uh, it's a lot if you actually succeed a mission. However, you need to actually rescue the people and escape and without dying in order to do so. Oh, and as you come play through the game, a story unfolds and you can upgrade different facilities by rescuing people. Like more health. But of course all of these things are very expensive. But doable. And eventually during the mission you will find a fire tome. You need a grand total of 13. The issue though is that, like for example, the end of mission uh, so summary, I find it too slow. But that is um, upset, mm, that's offset by... And the music is just being kick ass. For some stupid reason, the moment you whip out your house and start pissing it on everything, it always aims a little bit upward instead of forward. This I find very weird and a bit irritating to be honest. Of course, you get like 0 0.1 uh, second for every um, everything you extinguish and you can look up and you can look down. And fly all around. And fall down. 
because uh, once you start uh, falling down with a jetpack, you cannot boost yourself up in air, and that is my major gripe with this whole experience, really. Other than the insufferable knockback effect is that you touch fire fire thing and you get knocked back. This becomes even more prevalent when you have to jump from train cars with flying burning birds badgering you all the time and pooing flame at you. But there's something about this experience that just keeps me going and going and going and going and going. I wasn't speaking of train. There's also a couple of bosses here and there. And some big badass demon uh, bosses that's gonna break your sanity. Also, what makes things a bit more challenge, challenge is that all the levels are randomized. Which is both good, it gives a lot of variety. bad because it's randomized and of course it's also fall damage touch damage because you you know uh, touching fire mm -mm. and it's totally possible to get stuck in a negative feedback loop and just burn to death but the worst offender is probably these runaway train cars. Also, mm, throughout the levels there are a lot of stuff you need to break because they are um, blocking your way. So, in order to... So that's why you have fire axe, which stops your movement that cold until you up mm, but uh, I guess allegedly an upgrade uh, makes you makes uh, that a, a non partisan issue. So You get, and when you come to the end of the level, you get a choice. You want to get a choice? If you say yes, you end the mission. So at any time you can exit a mission, then you will only get uh, a paltry sum. And if you die, a fraction of that uh, sum will be reducted. So you will always go in the positive. Eventually. Upgrade. As you can see here, right, this is an upgraded axe, so now I can slash on the move. I can move and slash. It is superb. Uh, and also, it is, you often get several of the same type of mission at the, in a row. Hitboxes are also very unforgiving. You might notice that the water is not very efficient at punishing anything. That's because uh, you, it's a. Uh, if you manage to defeat 200 things on a mission, you get, a, for example, get a medal. 
that increases the damage by 50%. Also, of course, once you keep rescuing people, you get fans. And the more fans you have, the more money you make if you complete the mission. Three, four kind of level is a fancy swanky hotel. Is it a train? Is it burning part forest forest thing? Followed by um, followed by a hotel and a burning building. Also, the thing with the train level is that if you don't if you fail the jump, you fall to the track, and then you die. So first comes this loading screen. Then comes the mission report. It can't be skipped. With the dramatic music and... And well, and then... You will find another loading screen, which is... Not good. Not good at all, because it's... It should just be one loading screen between the end of uh, mission progress and the um, and back to base. It shouldn't be two loading screen and one screen in between. But there is um, for better for better or worse. So um, you get the time for uh, for crushing enemies, but you also lose time because it takes time and water to actually, um, uh, you know, to actually um, do anything. Also, you probably noticed that the cats are not. Mission critical. This is also on a higher dog. Said uh, dog will. Uh, Said the dog will show you, will you come up with a warning. Oh, you haven't rescued everyone. And of course, you always fall into one or two or ten very unfortunate situation. I mean, seriously. But I've shown you that it is possible to actually succeed in completing level. Despite the timer, despite uh, being able to run out of water, having to stand still and waiting for it to refill or looking for a water source, which you can't uh, reach because uh, you're going to uh, run out because you run out of water. It means you can't jump. Of course, there are upgrades, but each upgrade is increasingly more expensive. Also, you have these hilarious animations. This is uh, is uh, so fantastic.
Of course, there's a bunch of power-ups you can equip to make yourself more... Uh, mm, more OP. Uh, there's a lot bunch of upgrades here and there. So overall, it's a fun experience. It's a very addictive experience. But it's beautiful, but very frustrating. Oh, so f frigging frustrating. Anyways, my name is Newell, hashtag Zesteron, starting out, and like, follow, and subscribe, but also links to my stuff down below. Ciao.